guys, it's Kat. Um, I just wanted to do a quick um, haul video. Um, I think I mentioned previously that my mom is a big um, like thrift shopper. Like she loves to go to like the Goodwill stores and like look for bargains and stuff. And um, since I became uh, really like into needle crafts and stuff, she's been keeping her eye out for like yarn and things for me. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick haul of stuff that my mom has found for me recently. Um, the first thing is like the coolest thing ever. I don't know who would get rid of this. Um, is actually a kit to make a poncho with, and um, it comes with um, three balls. Oh, I thought they were three big balls. Apparently, there's six little balls of this really fuzzy, soft. I love this, just really fuzzy soft purple yarn and it comes with the pattern and um, it came with a pair of knitting needles um, now I have never knitted anything more than a scarf so I've never knitted anything other than like a straight piece of fabric so I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the hang of this <laughs> um, as you all know I am a crocheter but for some reason my mom just keeps buying me knitting stuff I don't I don't know <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm not gonna turn it down like I'm gonna I'll take whatever she buys me and I'll learn to use it um, I'm, I'm open to trying new things um, so yeah she bought me this kit I don't know how much it costs but it was from a Goodwill store I don't know who'd get rid of it it's so awesome um, and speaking of knitting stuff she also found me um, these two sets of double-ended knitting needles um, I don't know what the sizes are um, oh size 6 and size 9 and they're different lengths um, I have never used double-ended knitting needles but from what I understand like they usually use like three or four at a time to make things like socks and um, I think you can use multiple knitting needles to make like a, a whole blanket in one piece rather than knitting little pieces and sewing them together um, so I'm gonna have to do some research and learn the techniques for using these needles. Um, I'm not really looking forward to it. As I said, I prefer crochet, but I'll try to learn. Um, and these packs were 50 cents each. 50 cents for four needles. That is awesome. Um, and then she, she has this thing about buying me all these really like nice looking yarns, but they're like really thin and fuzzy and I don't like really thin and really fuzzy yarns but she thinks they look nice and she buys them for me anyways I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this uh, it's actually kind of soft uh, but it is very thin and very fuzzy um, and I can tell it's going to be kind of difficult to work with um, it's Fentex brand the color is natural um, it's made in, I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, it's a really nice yarn, but I can foresee myself having difficulties using this, um, but she got me, I don't know how many, it looks like five balls in here, and this bag was two dollars um that's what the goodwill stores in our area do they just put a whole bunch of things in a bag and like sell it for one or two dollars so this whole bag was two dollars and then she got me these two skeins of what look like baby yarn and they're really thick and heavy there's a lot of yarn in these um i guess i will save them um for the future hopefully in the near future I will need to make a baby blanket out of these I'm hoping not having much luck in that area but anyways moving on um, she also bought me these two bags they all look the same I don't know they're different brands but they look like the same like type and style of yarn um, these are both um, worsted weight cream colored yarns. Um, this one is Peyton's brand and this one is Bouquet Softy. And these were also two dollars each. Uh, like per bag. Which are really good prices because I bet these skeins would probably be at least three dollars each brand new. So. Um, 
And then again with the really fuzzy, annoying yarn, this this Bernat eyelash yarn. Like it's not even yarn, it's like string with like fuzzy on it. Like I don't, I'm gonna have a lot of issues using this because I don't uh, like, I don't understand how you'd be able to see the stitches to insert the hook or the needle. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna <laughs> work with this, but it's, it's really soft and pretty, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do anything with this. But, um, these were, um, how much were these? This was a dollar for a bag of two. And then she got me a couple more bags. This one was a little more pricey, um, but these are really nice, um, deep blue, thick fuzzy yarn. Um, I don't know what brand they are, they don't have labels on them, but they look really nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, and then I got... It looks like the same type of yarn in like an aqua color. Again, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. <laughs> I'm sure I can find something. And then there are a few balls of white and cream yarn. Um, there's two white, two cream, they're pretty thick. I'll probably use them for a blanket or something. Um, this bag was $1.50 and the aqua bag was $2. And then a couple weeks ago I went to a Goodwill store myself and I found this bag. Um, somebody color coordinated <laughs> these yarns for me. Um, so I found this bag of, um, well this one is red hard. These two don't have labels but they look similar. I wouldn't be surprised if they were also red heart. Um, this one is Red Heart Misty in Heather Multicolor. It's like um, dark purples and light purples. And then there's a dark purple and a very light, um, like buttery yellow. And I really want to make a baby blanket out of these someday. Um, and this whole bag was $2. And there's a price tag on this skein actually from like the original store that it was originally bought at and this skein alone was three dollars and I got these all three for two dollars so I got that and then um also at the Goodwill store I found these two brand new skeins of Bernat Softy Chunky in dark taupe um they actually look pretty brown but they're dark taupe and I know these are like over three dollars each because I had to buy a whole bunch of them when I made a blanket about a year ago. And I found these at the Goodwill store for a dollar each. And um, I have a bunch of pink that I found at a Goodwill store that I showed in a previous video, uh, pink Bernat Satin. And I think I want to combine them and make myself a like pink and brown poncho maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so yeah, so that's all my yarn. I now have two big um, plastic storage tubs full of yarn and no idea what to do with it all. Um, but I'll eventually think of something and um, hopefully I will have more videos up soon with more completed projects. I haven't been like really knitting or crocheting lately. I've just been like really stressed and a lot of stuff has been going on and I just haven't really felt like doing videos or doing any crafting or anything. I've actually been spending a lot of time reading. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. Hopefully I'll have a new video up soon with some completed projects to show you. Uh, I have to get started on gifts for my niece's birthdays, which are coming up in June and July. Um, so hopefully I'll have that done soon. And um, happy crocheting.